My name is Kerry, one of the graphic designers here at Blue Leads. And in today's lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to use Inspector. Uh, the benefit of using Inspector is it gives you all the the elements behind <clears throat> the uh, the web page you, you generally use. Uh, we can grab like the font family, the colors uh, for continuous like theming. We can grab the images from the website. And I'll even show you something really cool. We have this really cool uh, plugin for Chrome called the CSS Peak. And in that tool, without using Inspector, you can also grab just as much information um, that, that as you would in Inspector. Um, and let's, uh, let's let's get on it. Um, so first, you want to grab the uh, the page that you want to <clears throat> grab the information from, right? You right click on the um, on your mouse and you want to choose um, Inspect. So you notice we have a bunch of information here and it's definitely overwhelming. But what we're gonna to try to do is we're gonna to try to not focus on the number of information, but focus on what it is you're trying to accomplish. So here we're gonna look out on the uh, on the left side, we'll see what looks like a mouse. If you click on that little uh, thing right there and you hover over each section, you realize that um, you know each section that you hover over as you hover over it, it highlights into, you know, um, shows you that it's, it's uh, active. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hover over the uh, the title and we're gonna click on it. If you look over on the right side, we'll see what's called a styles tab. Um, you scroll down, you look, you see it's um, it has what's um, an H2 um, element on there. And we're using a font size of three EMs, a display block, we're using all this different stuff. But what you see at the bottom is the color and this is the Xcode for the color. So say you want to, design an ebook or you were just like you know your graphic design team say hey I need the X code for you know um, uh, for this project I'm working on can you send that to me this is where you find this information um, you know you want to figure out but what fun family is it using right um, the easiest way to do this is to click on compute tab and you scroll down in compute and you realize there's fun family right there and it gives you all the different fun, fun family that's been used I'm um, assuming one is not available, then it'll go to the other one, go to the other one, and so on. And that's basically how you grab the the, uh, the font family, the font size that's been used, and most importantly, the color is probably what you're looking for. Um, say you want to figure out, oh, I want to grab this image. How do I do that? Now, there's multiple ways of grabbing images, but one way to do it using Inspector is, again, you you click on the, the mouse, you you click on the, the image and you will see um, in the image source, you'll see all this information here. Usually you just wanna look for the word uh, source, SRC. You right click on there and you can do open the new tab, which is at the top right there. And that's basically an image right there. So now we grab the image uh, the, the image from the, um, from the document. Now our next step is to try to figure out an easier way to do this. Now Chrome has this really cool tool called as I mentioned, um, CSS Peeper. Now you download that plugin, um, that add-on onto your Chrome, and then what this this uh, this uh, plugin does is it actually gives you all this information um, that you'll just readily at your fingertip without you having to use Inspector. Um, seeing that I already have the plugin installed, what I'll show you is how to use it. You click on the the icon right there, and basically at the bottom you'll notice that we have a few tabs here, right? We have the general, we have the colors, and we also have the assets. Um, if you just look up on first, like you initially just open the, uh, the, the plugin, it'll give you all the fun family. So currently we're using Roboto. Um, we are also using um, <clears throat> the, the CSS file. It gives you like, the, uh, like how big the file is. Um, if you click on colors, it'll give you all the colors. This is basically all the colors that's being used on this page right now in some way, shape or form, whether that being um, uh, the font or background color or something. Um, in assets, um, this is basically all the images uh, that is being used on this page right now. Most, if not all, the images that's being used on this page. Uh, sometimes it doesn't get all of them, but for, for the most part, it's gonna get about 99% of them on there. <clears throat> um, if you want to grab a color from from one of these uh, from, one, from one of these lists, you can simply click on on the word copy. It makes it really, really easy for you. You copy it, and you can just forward that to your designer, developer guy, or marketing person who wants to send to somebody else. <clears throat> and that will make it a lot easier for you. Again, basically the same thing, you can export the images. Um, and that's basically all the information you need. Now, let's say for instance, you want it to be like, I want this particular like color for like this button. Then since I already have the program open, if you notice everything that I, 
that I hover over has like a highlight to it. If you click on it, then it gives you that particular um, color. It gives you the font that's been used. It gives you the font size. It basically gives you all the information you need to um, to send to whoever it is you want to send it to or to keep to your space off. Alrighty guys, um, thank you. That pretty much covers our, our, um, our tutorial on how to use Inspector and how to use this great tool called CSS Peeper. We really hope you find this helpful. Go ahead and subscribe and or check out our blog for more great content and design tutorial.